Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you how we can go to another page or screen using button press. In Flutter, we refer pages as routes. I'm not going to talk about advanced things but I'm gonna show you two ways that we can use and in future videos I'll cover advanced things also. So, routes means pages or screen and application can have multiple screens as a simple example, lot of apps have login screen, sign up screen, home screen, splash screen and so on. So, we need a way to wire up those screens. As an example, when we press sign in button, home screen should display. To manage those screens in Flutter, we have navigator class. This class uses stack discipline. You know stack data structure, right? If you don't know about it, don't think about it too much. It's simply like a stack of books in programming a stack of values. In this case, a stack of house. Navigator class provides us method like push and pop for managing this stack. So let me demonstrate using our app. When this next button is pressed, navigator push will call. Now route is pushed to the navigator and if I press next again, second page is pushed to the stack. Now if I press go back, navigator pop method will call. And lastly added route will remove from the navigator and this page. If I press go back again, second page is popped. Now we are in home page. Again, oops, navigator doesn't have anything to pop. Okay, enough explanation. Let's try that out. Basically, we have two ways of doing this. So let's try first method. In our main.dart file, inside the core tab build method, we have a material app widget and this widget has a property called routes. Value should be a map. Simply map is collection of key value pairs. Using key, we can get values. In short, it is mapping of keys to values. We can know it parameterize type, but it's better to add types, you know, generic things. Okay, inside curl backers, let's add first route, key is actually the page name, key is the page name, first add forward slash, followed by the page name, any name, a meaningful one, add a colon. For value, we can create an anonymous function like this. This is an anonymous object of second page, class in this case, Disney page that we haven't created yet. This is how we map key with value. Also, we don't have to specify home route here because we have added it in home property. You can access home page by forward slash. Let's add one more route. Page name is forward slash Lennon page colon. Anonymous function widget is new Lennon page. Okay, now we have to create two classes. I'm gonna create two files first for those classes. First one is disney page dot dot and second one is lennon page dot dot i'm gonna copy all the codes in home page file and paste into disney page and change the class name to disney page the name we have specified in routes also change this list index to one to change code and background image these are from our previous videos and for the Lennon page, also paste that code and change the class name to Lennon page. In home page file, change list index to zero for Bruce Lee image and code. Now go to the main.dart. Still, you can see these errors because we have to import files. We have one more thing to do that is button press. We need to say go to second page. So our buttons are in component.dart file. Here is our custom button. This is a inquire button, so we have contact property here. Currently, it is a printing statement, and I'm going to delete it and type navigator dot. Here we have a lot of methods to manage navigator. Let's use push named for now. We have to pass current type context and route name, name that we added as the key or the page name. Make sure to add forward slash. Also, we can use off method with context. Then we don't need to pass context. To the push name method both are fine you can see an error that because we are not inside build method so we can specify parameter and pass value to method call press run button if i press one of this button it will go to the next page if i again press this button same page will push to the navigator before fix that let's see how we can go back our previous page if you have app bar, you will get back button by default to go to the previous page. So to go back, we have to use pop method in navigator and we have to pass the context or we can use off method with context and call pop from it like this. Okay, as you can see, we have two buttons for previous and next, but we are using the same code for those two. So how we know what button is pressed? There are a couple of ways. 
we can check arrow is right and if it is we can push the string or else we can pop oh we can pass a string like left or right in method call and check for it but there is another way without adding parameters if you press ctrl and click on this arrow left icon as you can see for each icon there are different code points code point is the int variable which is used to store in the icon font let me show you the code point for arrow right using print method Fifty-eight, eight, forty-seven. Now we can use this code point. To do that, I'm gonna create function called navigate to, and we have to add two parameters. One is build context, and other one is code point. Inside this method, add the if condition. If code point equal equal to fifty-eight, eight, forty-seven, I'm gonna push this new page. Else, go to previous page. Now we can invoke or call this function in non tab. We have to pass context and code point of this icon. Press restart. I can go to the next page and I can go back. And if I press back button again, for oh, what? Our scaffold going down. This is because navigator is empty and we don't have anything to pop. So we can check if navigator has out pop by using navigator dot can pop method. If it is pop, otherwise don't do anything restart yep that's great right now we are adding same screen to the stack so let's see how we can add other pages for this uh, also we have a lot of ways of doing this so let's try easiest way we can get route name through constructor and replace this hard coded string so let's create a variable for route name we can get values through constructor i'm gonna make this name a uh, functional parameter Let's replace hard coded string in push name function with that variable. Now go to the home page of that and add name parameter out name colon. We have to specify second or next route name here because we need to go to the next one from home page. Likewise, I'm gonna do the same thing in second page, our Disney page dot that. I want to go to the Lenin page from here. Since I only have three cores, I don't have any page to go to from Lenin page. Because of that, I can avoid the route name argument here. It is possible because we made the parameter optional. Restart. Next. Next. Now we are in the last page. If I again press next, you will see an error in the console that because we didn't pass any values for route name in last page, Lenin page. So it will be null. Simply we can check if route name is not null before push route name to the navigator like this. That's the method 1 named route. Before going to the method 2, let me quickly show you another method in navigator. For that I'm gonna add on long press for our int fill and type navigator dot push named and remove one till open and close bracket inside bracket context parameter forward slash for home route route open and close angle bracket inside it add dynamic and add parameter name route inside the bracket add bad arrow type false what this method will do is that it will push the provided route and it will remove all other routes in the navigator so if I restart and press and hold a second as you can see you are in the home screen there are other methods that you can try we don't need this for this app just wanted to show you okay let's try second method if you have a lot of routes in your app we have to map all of those in material app routes property without doing that and if you want platform specific animation second method is the one you want so we don't need these routes in material app widget we can directly push without name route so remove this push name function and type push first parameter is context second one is material page route open and close bracket inside type builder property let's try add anonymous function parameter is context add arrow new disney page open and close bracket this is the route model route instead of this we can create our own route i will show how to do that in upcoming videos 
So this is the way that we can replace the entire screen with platform adaptive transition. For the builder property, we have to add screen or page or route. This will only push Disney page. So I'm gonna change our route name variable to route and data type to widget. Also, we have to change constructor. Now for the builder name argument, add that route variable. Of course, we have to change Disney page file route name argument to route and value is object of linen page and also do the same thing to the home page to that file value is object of Disney page if we restart our app everything worked as we expected but when we press right button page is coming from the bottom to drop that's weird right we want this page to come from the left when we press right button when we press left button page should come from the right you may remember that i told you material page route is for platform specific transition as example in android page navigate from bottom to top so if we want our own transition we can use page route builder here we are going to use three name parameters first one is transition duration i want quick transition so 200 milliseconds is good second one is page builder this one for the page so we have to create an anonymous function here and we have to add three parameters first one is context second and third for animation since i'm not going to use these two parameters i can ignore them using underscore this is actually a variable double underscore because we have used one before and now we can return the page here in this case route variable third one is transition builder anonymous function ignore the context i want one animation type of double i don't want the second animation and third one is widget parameter name is child now we can return our transition first let's add paid transition we can add opacity i'm gonna add value of the animation and let's add child transition this is the one we need slide transition here we have a parameter called position as a value we can add twin type of offset i'll cover these animation things in the coming video so if you confused be here with me simply to for linear interpolation between beginning and end of animation so we have to add values for begin and end these are the values for right to left now we have to call the animation method from slide transition with animation parameter value for the child property of child transition we can add child parameter value okay let's restart the app press next button yeah we have slide transition with paid transition that's pretty much it for this tutorial you all have to have some problems now what if we have thousand of codes or we need to create thousand of pages <laughs> i'll show you better way after the next video because next video about side getcha so that we don't need to tap a button to go to the next page okay everyone i hope you learned something let me know about your thoughts in comment section or in google group also you can download source code in github link in the description if you haven't subscribed yet you can do it and also if you like this video press thumb up button and thanks for watching